Howdy everybody, it is I, your friendly neighborhood skook with a uke, coming at you on a beautiful Wednesday outside. Uh, it's nice and sunny and windy and all that good kind of stuff, so uh, welcome to the video, uh, the drawing of the 300 sub slash graduation giveaway. So I'll do a quick pipe check and then I'll get on with the video. Uh, yesterday I was enjoying some uh, Rasulette's candy cane cocoa out of this Dr. Graybo, uh, I think it's a bent billiard. It's a really nice smoker, uh, and today I'm going to be enjoying some Colt Blood Red Moon out of my Morgan Bones pipe, which is getting some coloring. The lighting's not really working with me here in the video, but it's starting to get some nice color, so I'm very excited. Uh, so, as many of you know, I had the uh, 300 sub slash graduation giveaway announcement last week. It closed last night at midnight, so uh, everybody that entered had the chance to just leave a comment down below of that video, and they had the opportunity, invitation, not expectation, to answer the question, what did you want to be when you were in first grade? Or for people across the pond, I think it's year two. Uh, so many people answered that and it was really awesome to see and a couple people even said what they ended up doing instead But uh, we had a lot of uh, People that want to be carpenters and firemen and all kinds of really interesting things So I appreciated reading and interacting with all the comments. Thank you for everybody who entered and thank you for uh, Everybody that answered the question so since it is a, a two a, a 300 sub giveaway and graduation giveaway uh, I'm gonna be pulling the names out of my graduation cap uh, and I gave everybody who commented on the video an assigned number in a Google Drive uh, and then everybody's got their numbers written on a folded up piece of paper. We've got everything folded up twice so that there's a, you know, an air of mystery. I have to unwrap it a little bit, but also to make sure that uh, everybody was represented and I didn't have to poorly misspell everyone's name. Uh, so the prize that you are going to win is fully assembled now. Uh, it's got the pipe rack that we talked about before in the video. It was featured. It's made entirely out of reclaimed wood. It's just got some Danish oil on it as a seal. And then on the bottom it says the uh, Skook with a Uke 300 sub giveaway. So that in a couple years when you're going through your pipes and you say, wow, how did I end up with this piece of crap? You can just look at the bottom and see, oh yeah, okay, it was from the YouTubes, the YTPC. I remember that now. So you've got the pipe rack. Uh, you've got... One of my favorite summer blends, mostly because I think it reminds me of popsicles. Uh, you've got some Captain Black grape pipe tobacco. It's a very sweet, very, I think like sticky aromatic. So if you don't like it, pass it along to somebody else. But uh, it, it tastes almost like a grape popsicle to me. Or if you've ever done uh, any kind of hookah, it's almost reminds me of the way that like a hookah smokes where you've got that very sweet, um, like the way that it smells is the way that it tastes, which is not always true for some aromatics. So you've got some Captain Black grape pipe tobacco. You've got some of Russ's new blend, Mango Tango. I picked some up and thought it tasted pretty good, a little summery. So we've got that included in it. Uh, we've got some Cornell and Deal's uh, Sansa Pulcro, a sample from the 910. Uh, 910 can out of 4500. Cornell and Deal small batch Sansa Pulcro. You've got a sample of that here. Uh, and it's really tasty, so I hope you enjoy. And then I know some people have tried it, but not everybody may have tried it, so I thought I would include some GLP Stonehenge, which is really good. It's one of my favorites. It's a, a vapor, uh, I think, and it just really fantastic taste. Uh, it's one of my favorite blends. Uh, and then, as long as it's legal to ship, I've been doing some research for our international brothers and sisters of the Briar to see um, how legal it is for me to send this. So as long as it's legal for me to ship this where you're at, uh, one of the epidemics that's striking the YTPC as people um, are out and opening yabos is people don't have anything to open their yabos with. I've seen people use keys and pens and butter knives. So uh, one of the prizes is going to be uh, a yabo opener, which can also double as a regular pocket knife. Uh, I tried to get it as close to the one that I have because I really love mine. Uh, it's not actually real... Um, Alcorn, as you can probably tell, it's it's plastic, but uh, it's a really good knife, really good steel, and I have it on me as uh, my official Yabo opener is over there. Uh, so hopefully you can also use this Yabo opener yourself. So without further ado, drum roll please. I'm gonna mix these up one more time, uh, and then hopefully I will not mispronounce your name too terribly. 
I've got the video pulled up to double check just in case it's somebody that is really hard to to do. But we've got dun dun dun. dun. The winner is number eleven, Headline Pipe. So, congratulations, Headline Pipe. In the description of this video, you will find my email. Please send me a message uh, within the next two days to send me your address. I'm in the process of moving, uh, so the next video that you guys all see will be me in a new location, most likely. Uh, so I've kind of got boxes all around me, so I'm going to try and get this Yabo out as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so please let me know, Headline Pipe. Um, your contact information so I can get this out. Thanks once again to everybody that entered, and thank you all for uh, watching and, and supporting and getting me to 300 subs plus, so um, here's to many more, uh, and everybody have a great day, and God bless.